Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Family Sedan channel. And over two years ago, Coinbase publicly committed to the distribution of what was then known as the Spark Token airdrop. It's now been rebranded. The Spark Token is now just known as the Flare Token developed by Flare Networks and along with CEO uh, Hugo Filion. Well, they committed to that publicly over two years ago. Haven't really heard anything much in uh, over the, you know, the following two years from that announcement. Although I wouldn't expect a ton from them because they're not, you know, a developer and there's not a lot to be asking Coinbase specifically on that airdrop. But the problem is uh, Flare Networks recently had trouble getting a hold of them. They went radio silent and didn't respond for, um, for, for over 10 days. So, so, which led to this headline from the Crypto Basic. Radio silence is Coinbase team yet to respond on Flare token distribution for XRP holders. And so this led to a lot of people uh, wondering, is Coinbase going to honor their promise to distribute the Flare token? And it's pretty reasonable to ask that given their complete lack of silence, especially when you consider that the other Flare Networks token that came along, the Songbird token, uh, Coinbase received that from Flare Networks and has just kept it to themselves and they will not publicly address that fact and they won't say whether or not they, they're, they're going to give the Spark tokens intended for their customers to their customers. They still, on that, they still haven't said what they're going to do, which is why it's <laughs> even more bizarre that when I was doing a little bit of research preparing for this video, I found out that Songbird is actually, although not tradable on Coinbase, it's listed on their actual website. So they, they'll, they'll list it, they'll talk about it. They'll tell you, you know, they'll give you tips on how you can actually get it. But they won't tell you whether you, uh, you listening to this, if you're entitled to it, they're not going to tell you if they'll give it to you. But uh, before going further, I do want to be clear. Um, I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice. And you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. And so uh, to quickly set the table, let's just uh, run through just the top part of this, and I'll show you the actual tweets. I don't really need to read the whole article here, but uh, this is, again, the one titled, Radio Silence is Coinbase Team Yet to Respond on Flare Token Distribution for XRP Holders. Flare Network CEO Hugo Fillion disclosed in a tweet yesterday that Coinbase is not responding to Flare Network's inquiries about the distribution of the, of the Flare token, FLR for short, to Coinbase customers holding XRP. Calling the attention of Coinbase chief Brian Armstrong, Fillion disclosed that Flare wants to help with the distribution of tokens to customers <clears throat> as agreed and is willing to dedicate as many persons as necessary to achieve it. And so <laughs> there's this tweet from December 5th, 2020 from Coinbase, and this is where they're acknowledging they're going to support the uh, what was then known as the Spark token, now the Flare token, airdrop. They wrote, Coinbase will support Flare Network's Spark airdrop. <clears throat> customers approved, I'm sorry, customers in approved jurisdictions who hold XRP in their accounts on the snapshot date of December 12th will qualify to receive Spark tokens. We plan to distribute the airdrop after the Flare Network launch. So Hugo retweeted that on December 6th, and he wrote, Hey, Brian Armstrong, and he tagged him right there. That's the CEO of Coinbase. Hey, Brian Armstrong, we are getting radio silence from your team and would really like to help Coinbase distribute Flare's token as agreed. We will dedicate as many people as needed from our side to make it happen. And then uh, XRP community member Tipsy Tiger wrote to Hugo Fillion and said, radio silence for how long exactly? To which Hugo responded, about 10 days. And so I don't know how long this went on for, but it wasn't until day that we got a response. So maybe it could have been closer to two weeks at this point. But they did end up responding. Um, and, and Hugo, in a separate tweet, by the way, I'll, I'll mention this also, the distribution, the first distribution is going to happen January 9th, 2023, and he said that it's going to happen, quote, come hell or high water, end quote. So it's coming, he insists. And uh, here's the official announcement from Coinbase uh, just six hours ago. Coinbase Assets. 
Uh, Coinbase intends to honor our prior commitment to our customers to support Flare Network's Flare Airdrop. We estimate supporting the airdrop within the first half of 2023. Let's just pause here. Hold on. I already had the first time I read that, I was like, oh my god. Well, at least they, they're going to give the, the flare the flare airdrop. At least they're gonna give it to the customers as they had promised to. But within the first half a year? Look, Hugo Philly, and he was working with uh, other exchanges that agreed to distribute the Flare airdrop to get it out inside of two weeks. And other exchanges are getting it out inside of two weeks. Why the low bar with Coinbase? I guess because they're Coinbase and this is what we should come to expect from them, right? Half a year? It takes you potentially half a year to get the damn thing out? And look, maybe maybe everybody will be fortunate that's owed this and maybe it happens in a matter of weeks. Maybe maybe we get lucky. But the fact that they're giving themselves half a year just in case, are you serious? Why? What the hell could possibly lead to that? That's pretty ridiculous, just in, in my humble opinion. And then Coinbase says, Customers on Coinbase.com, a simple and advanced trade, and Coinbase Exchange in approved jurisdictions who held XRP on the snapshot date of December 12th, 2020, at 0000 UTC will qualify to receive Flare tokens. While we cannot guarantee support for any particular jurisdiction, Flare trading and the associated Flare airdrop is expected to generally be available in Coinbase's supported jurisdictions with the exception of Germany, Japan, New York, and Singapore. Yeah, I guess screw New York, but it's, it's the people running New York, my God. It's like they're acting as though they are their own country and they're be, they're like North Korea. Like, it's, it's like in, in terms of the way that they're approaching crypto, anyway, it's pretty ridiculous. But the positive there, I don't know if Casey didn't catch that, what I just covered there, uh, they're going to offer trading of the Flare token uh, at some point. That's good because Coinbase is one of the largest exchanges on the entire planet. So look, I know the price of uh, the Songbird or uh, Songbird token already, which I'm going to talk about in a second is down substantially. I understand that flare, if you look at the IUs that have been traded down substantially, but we're in a bear market. I am going to happily hold whatever happens in the short term. And when this thing goes ballistic, which I think is possible, I don't make price predictions, but if it happens, uh, I won't be ready. I'm not going to sell uh, prior to something like that. And so if it never happens, then fine, I'll just write it to zero, which I don't, I'm optimistic, but, um, uh, my gosh, I just, I want the exposure. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want the exposure. There's some people that want to sell it when they get right away. And that's fine. Everybody has their own prerogative. But for me, I just want the exposure to the damn asset class. Um, So anyway, it's coming. It's just the way they're handling this, though. My gosh. So I don't know what it, what's with the, the, the long delays and then giving yourselves half a year, whatever. But then there's also the Songbird token. And the Songbird token is it's this, it's basically the same as uh, what was the the crypto that did it was a uh, polka dot right polka dot and kasama I, I think i'm getting that right if i'm wrong somebody will just correct me in the comments that's fine but i, I believe it was polka dot that was the first uh, uh, crypto to have um, a separate blockchain which they called kusama i know that one's right it's kusama and it's it's a it's a real it's not technically a testnet because a testnet would not be open to the public so it's a live blockchain but it's designed to do test stuff with it and then if it works so if, if you test something in kusama and you're like okay it's it's tried and true now uh, let's go ahead and throw it on a uh, polka dot because it seems to have worked when we tested it on a live network kusama well that's the purpose of it before you get a bunch of people with you know putting real money into it and building on top of you know, the, the, the polka dot chain, you, you do it on what is a, a live chain, but it's designed to be a test bed effectively. Well, so, so it's called a canary network. That, that's what Kusama is. And that's the first place that that had ever been created, to my knowledge, anyway. Well, that's what Flare did. So they created the Songbird uh, token to be basically a test bed for the Flare network. So it's its own live blockchain. And it is already live, by the way. Just as a friendly reminder, Songbird tokens were distributed, I think it was initially September of last year, 2021. And anybody that was eligible for the Flare token, they just automatically got the SGB, the Songbird tokens, sent uh, already. So like it, they've already been deposited. So Coinbase has the tokens, but not only have they not distributed the tokens, 
they won't even acknowledge that they have them. They won't answer yes or no in terms of whether or not they're going to give out the tokens, which is pissing off everybody, right? Um, and I understand it's an unfair situation to Coinbase. I made a video where I was talking about this. I don't want to go into great detail my perspective on this because I, I just don't feel like hashing that concept out again. But I understand it's not fair to Coinbase because they were put in a position where they didn't know that Songbird was going to exist and Flare didn't either. They came up with the idea after Coinbase agreed to distribute the Flare token. So then, what, Coinbase is now forced to give out the uh, the Songbird token? Well, from a legal perspective, I don't know if that is true or isn't true. Uh, there's an attorney in the XRP community that thinks actually that they there is some sort of uh, legal consequence for Coinbase if they don't give it out. I can't speak to that because I'm not an attorney. But uh, but even though I admit it's, it's it's unfair for Coinbase, don't you think it's even more unfair for the user, you know, who is counting on this? Well, a lot of people think the answer is yes. And so there was actually a change.org a petition that was created. And here's the headline on your screen. Coinbase users demand an answer on our Songbird airdrop. Uh, it's just disgusting to me that Coinbase hasn't even acknowledged that they have it. So anyway, this it just reads as follows. Coinbase has been aware for months that they would be receiving free Songbird on behalf of every Coinbase user who took part in the December 12th, 2020 XRP snapshot. In that time, they refused to answer whether they would delegate those coins to their customers. Now they have actually received the coins and still refuse to answer whether they will give their customer Songbird. These coins represent an enormous amount of monetary value in a time where many are in need. We demand that Coinbase makes a public statement of their intentions as well as a public apology. There are three options. Number one, burn the tokens. Destroy the wealth we are owed rather than delegate it to a trifle owners. Number two, keep the tokens for yourself. Theft. Number three, give the tokens to their rightful owners. The morally right thing to do. If any option other than three is chosen, you stand to lose an enormous amount of customers and the liquidity from your exchange. And there are almost 5,000 people that have, have signed this thing at this point in time. So it's interesting, they're acknowledging the flare airdrop again, super duper, and there's gonna be trading a two thumbs up on a scale of one to 10, I like that. But they won't even acknowledge that Songbird exists, except for if you go to their damn website. So again, Songbird, um, you know, not supported by Coinbase, at least not currently, but here they're tracking the price of it. And they're not just tracking the price of it. I also found this page. This is Coinbase's official website. And they wrote here, how to buy Songbird SGB. I kid you not, it's on your screen right here. And then here's the introduction that they wrote. This is the intro paragraph. Check this out. When it comes to buying crypto, there are a lot of factors that come into play, such as location and protocol. Some cryptocurrencies are harder to obtain than others. Songbird is one of them. Songbird is not currently supported across Coinbase's vast ecosystem. There are still ways you can find a way to buy Songbird. Sign up with Coinbase to stay up to date on Songbird and get notified when it becomes available on Coinbase app. So there you go. This is the first thing I found, and I haven't seen anybody else report on this, but Coinbase is planning to list Songbird. They've publicly stated that. I just found that out today. But they don't have the decency to tell their customers whether or not they're going to give them their damn uh, Songbird airdrop. That's disgusting to me. Like, I, the, 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 the level of disrespect for the customers is truly impressive. Whether you think it's right or wrong, or they should or shouldn't have to distribute it. I just say, set aside whether or not, like, say there's no legal argument that Coinbase should have to, and maybe that's true. I'm, I don't know if that is true or isn't true. I'm not an attorney. But even if that's true, what's the, the right thing to do? I get it. It's an inconvenience, unfair for Coinbase to be put in that situation. It's also fair for the Coinbase customers to be put in that situation. Why aren't we focusing on them? Why aren't we focusing on the little guy out there? That just doesn't make sense to me. Ah, weird stuff, right? Yeah. Let me know what you think. I'll go ahead and wrap up. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the Moon Family Sedan. <laughs>